In this video, we will go through the computation questions from one CXC CSEC paper to examination. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and attempt each part. If you are stuck on any, check the description below for the link to the video that covered that topic. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. Last chance to pause the video. Okay, let's go. Question 1A part 1. We are asked for the exact value of this calculation. Remember that thirds are recurring decimals. So if we approximate this fraction to a decimal, we will not have the exact answer. We need to work with fractions to ensure that the answer is exact. A calculator that can work fractions is very useful for this problem. Let us work out the fractions without using a calculator. With a fraction, we work out the numerator first and then the denominator. So let's work out 3.5 multiplied by 1 and 2 thirds. 3.5 multiplied by 1 and 2 thirds. First thing we do, we convert these mixed numbers to improper fraction. So we get 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. 7 over 2. Being multiplied by 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. 5 over 3. Nothing can cancel. So we multiply it out. 7 multiplied by 5 is 35. 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. So we get 35 over 6 divided by 4 and 1 fifth. So we will call the second part now. 35 over 6 divided by 4 and 1 fifth. 4 and 1 fifth as an improper fraction is 4 multiplied by 5 is 20 plus 1, 21 over 5. It's equal to 35 over 6 multiplied by 5 over 21. We see that 7 could go into both 21 and 35. 7 into 21, 3. 7 into 35, 5. We multiply out. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. 6 multiplied by 3 is equal to 18. Converting to a mixed number, 18 to 25, 1. And we have 7 remaining. 1 and 7 over 18. The answer is 1 and 7 over 18. Part 2. We have to work out 5.47 minus the square root of 0 0.1014 over 1.5. Remember bud mass. But to understand which order to work it, we need to understand how square roots work. We need to know that this is exactly the same as 5.47 minus, in brackets, 0 0.1014 over 1.5 to the power of a half. I put it this way to make sure you understand that we need to work out the brackets first and then find the square root. This is equal to 0 0.1014 divided by 1.5 is equal to 0 0.0676. So we have 5.47 minus the square root of 0 0.0676. The square root of 0 0.0676 is equal to 0 0.26. It's equal to 5.47 minus 0 0.26. It is equal to 5.47 subtract 0 0.26. It's equal to 5.21. 5.21. I am Mr. Dubey. Remember, to get the most out of my channel, please view the videos in order using the playlist. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.